Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. And then let's go down low to touch our toes. one more time and this time can we go tippy toe high and while we're there let's have a wave side to side and then back down to touch your toes again Stand up straight, hands on hips, and let's wiggle side to side. Stop. And then another wiggle side to side. Stop. And now forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and stop. Next, we'll go round and round. Round and round. And stop. And finally, we'll go back the other way. Give our spines a nice stretch. Excellent, guys. And to finish, let's shake it out. Arms and legs, have a shake. Loosen up. Shake it out. To finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So who can tell me what we've began learning about in the last couple of lessons in maths? Fractions. Yes, fractions. F, R, A, C, T, I O N S. And as we know by now, fractions means part of a whole. Yes. So altogether, fractions part of a whole. Yes. And to begin with, we began learning about proper fractions. And a proper fraction is when the top number, the numerator, is smaller than the bottom number, the denominator. 
But after proper fractions, guys, what did we learn about in the previous lesson? Not proper fractions, improper fractions. Yes, they were known as improper fractions. P R O P E R. And then fractions. F R A C T I O N S. So altogether, improper fractions. And what we mean by improper is the opposite of proper. In improper fractions, the top number is more than the bottom number. For example, 5 over 3. So how many, how many parts to the whole, guys? 3. Okay, so let's draw a circle with 3 parts. Okay, so we have the whole, which is three parts. But how many parts do we need in total? Five. Five. So therefore, we have to go one, two, three. But that's not enough. What do we need to do next? We need another, another circle. So we have three parts. If we want five, how many more parts do we need? Three. We need another 3 plus 2 equals 5. So what we need to do is we need a second circle, but this time, how many parts do we call it? Two. two, yes. So you can see an improper fraction is when the number of parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is more than the number of the whole. 5 over 3. And that's how we do improper fractions. So what we do now is we're going to have our students come forward and demonstrate how to do some improper fractions. But first of all, I need to clean the board. So let's see, to begin, what improper fraction can we do? Now you know, we've done 5 over 3, so let's have a look at 5 over four. And this time I will select a student to do it. So let's close our eyes, guys. And now the pen is with Net. So Net, come and join me at the front and we'll demonstrate how to do improper fractions together. So what's our improper fraction, guys? Five, Five over four. four. Okay, so how many parts do we need to the whole? Four. So net, let's have a big circle on first. Okay, that's fairly big. And then how many parts? Four. So we need to divide our circle into four parts. And now we can colour every part in blue. So you can colour in all the parts in blue. Excellent, Net. So now, how many parts do we have in blue? Four. One, two, three, four. How many do we need? Five. Five. So what do we need? We need one more circle. And we divide that circle into the same number of parts, four. But now, how many parts do we need in blue in our second circle? One, because four, plus one will equal five. So net, you can color one circle blue, a uh, one part blue. Perfect. So now we have one, two, three, four, five parts, which is the numerator over one, two, three, four. So all together guys, five over four, is an improper fraction. Net, can you say five over four improper fraction? That was excellent. Very well done, Net. High five and a big round of applause for Net, please, guys. 
Now let's do some more so we can demonstrate our understanding further. Let's go with a, more parts this time. Let's go with, we'll have eight over four. Okay, so let's see about this one. Now I would like my students to close their eyes. And let's see who can demonstrate how to do this one. And the pen is now with Lakgao. So Lakgao, come and join me at the front of class, please. Okay, so how many parts do we need? We need eight parts. Yes, but how many parts to our whole? Four. So first of all, we need one circle with four parts. Excellent, Lakgao. Then it can go into four, and we can color every part in blue. Perfect. So at the moment, how many parts do we have? Four. four. At the moment, we have four over four. But what do we need? Yes, we need to get to eight, so we need another circle. Divide it into four again. And how many parts of this circle? Four. Four, yes, you see, because four plus four equals eight. And how many parts to the whole? Four. four. So we can say eight, eight. over four, four. in proper fraction. The numerator, the top number, is more than the bottom number, the denominator. Lakgao, that was excellent. High five, big round of applause for Lakgao, please, guys. <laughs> and let's do one more together before we move on to the next stage of our fractions. And this time, let's look at halves. Three over two. Okay, so three over two we're doing next. And let's see who can do this fraction for me. I know, the pen is with Chu. So Chu, come and join me at the front of class, please. Okay, so first of all, guys, let's practice speaking our improper fraction. Three over two. So first of all, we need a circle. Chu, can you draw a nice big circle on the board? Okay, and how many parts to the circle do we need, guys? Two. Two. Okay. Well, how many parts do we need in total? Three. So we can cover these two parts in blue. One. Two. So what do we need next, guys? We need one more circle. So, Chu, you can write another circle here, please. Another nice big one. There you go. And then we can divide this circle into two parts, too, because two is the number of parts. But on this circle, how many parts do we call it in blue? One, yes. So only one half in blue this time, Chu. Now, how many parts in blue? One, two, three which is our number of parts, and what's the parts of the whole? One, two. So once again, improper fraction, three over two. Can you say two? Three over two. Improper fraction. Excellent, very well done. High five, and a big round of applause for two, please, guys. So that's improper fractions, the recap from the previous lesson. And today, we're going to move on and look at something different. We're going to look at mixed fractions, or sometimes known as mixed numbers. And what we mean by this, guys, a mixed number is if we take a whole... What number do we have there? Four. But we combine the whole number with a proper fraction. So we could have like this. You see, a mixed number has a whole number and a proper fraction. 
So what's our mixed number? Four and two over three, or four and two thirds. Mixed number is a whole and a proper fraction. With these, we never use improper fractions. So let's do one more, guys. Who can tell me what this mixed number represents? Excellent. You see, the whole number is 5, and then the fraction 7 over 10, or 5 and 7 tenths. And this is what we're going to be learning about today, guys. So excellent, good recap and well understood. And now we've got a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe, listen, but practice speaking and working out the answers to some mixed numbers too. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about mixed numbers. Yes, or sometimes you might hear them referred to as mixed fractions. It's the same thing. And in here, we have an example of a mixed number. Who can tell me that number? Excellent. You recognize already the whole number, the bigger one, five. Five wholes. But then the fraction, one over three. Or five and one third. And understand, guys, with mixed numbers, the fraction can only ever be a proper fraction. We don't use improper fractions with mixed numbers. A fraction is a number that represents part of a whole. Yes, the fraction is always a part of the whole thing. For example here, how many parts are in yellow? Four. But how many parts to the whole? Six. So we say the fraction here, four over six, or four sixths. The numbers represent the different fractions of the circle. So remember, the bottom number to the fraction, the denominator, is always how many parts? How many parts here? One over two. Yes, you see? Two parts. So the bottom number is two. And each part represents one. But now we cut the circle up even more. How many parts now? Four. Four. So the denominator changes too. Four. The denominator, the bottom number, always represents the number of parts. And how many parts here? Three. Three. You see? You can easily tell by looking at the number of parts. And then this one, eight. You see? Each part represents one over eight, or one eighth. The number at the top of the fraction is known as the numerator. Yeah, try to get used to the two terms. Top part, numerator. But then we have the bottom part too. The number at the bottom of the fraction is known as the denominator. Yes. So what does the numerator represent here? Two. And the denominator? Five. Two over five, or two-fifths. A proper fraction has a smaller numerator than the denominator. You can see here, three over five. 3 is smaller than 5, so that's a proper fraction. However, the ones we learnt about last time, 
An improper fraction has a larger numerator than the denominator. Yes. What's the improper fraction we have here, guys? Three. Yes, you see, three is more than two. So this is improper. We've got three different parts to two as a whole. And now today, a mixed number consists of a whole number and a proper fraction. Yes. So you can see we've got one big number first. That's the whole number, which is... Two, followed by a proper fraction. One over three. So the whole entire mixed number or mixed fraction, two and one over three. Or we can say two and one third. So let's see if you can get these following mixed numbers, guys. Excellent, you see, we've got five as the whole number first, and then the fraction, one over three, or we can say one third. So the mixed number here, five and one third. Yes. The next one. Yes, four and three over ten. Or we can say four and three tenths. You see? Four and three tenths is the same as four and three over ten. Two ways of saying the same thing. And let's do one more together. Four over seven. Yes. Notice the fraction always a proper fraction. Four and 1 over 7, or 4 and 1 seventh. Any questions, guys? That was excellent. Very well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation to learn more about the different types of fractions, and particularly in today's lesson, mixed numbers which is a combination of a whole number followed by a proper fraction. We never use improper fractions with mixed numbers. And soon, we're going to have our students practice more with a flashcards exercise. But for now, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And to begin this stretch sequence, we'll start with some rotations. Left, right, left right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Now, let's do some stretches. Let's do five to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Now we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have another little shake. Arms and legs, shake it out. And to finish this one, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And now it's time for our flashcards exercise. So teachers, similar to the previous lessons, you need to print off the flashcards, cut them into individual pieces, and then fold them and place them into a bowl or a tray. And we'll have our students come forward, pick out a flashcard, and then demonstrate how to do it on the board. So first of all, let's write the title. We're looking for mixed numbers. M, I, X, E, D. 
mixed. And then numbers, M, U, M, B, E, R, S. Mixed numbers. Or like I said earlier, you might hear mixed fractions. They both mean the same things. A mixed number and a mixed fraction are the same. So what we're going to do now is we're going to ask our students to come forward and demonstrate their understanding of reading a mixed number and writing the correct number of parts. I have my flashcards here. So I would like to invite, first of all, Pak Bung to come and join me at the front of class. Pak Bung can stand here, please, and then choose your flashcard and show it to your friends. Yes, three and three over four, or three and three quarters. So I will write here the mixed number. Three, three over four. Okay, so Pak Bung will now demonstrate how to do three and three over four. So first of all, how many holes do we have? Three. So how many complete circles? Three complete circles, because they represent the whole. One, two, three. Excellent, Pak Bung. How many parts to each circle? Four. So we can cut each circle into four parts. Excellent, Pak Bung. And because they're whole, if they're whole, we know we can colour in every part. So Pak Bung, don't worry, just colour them in slightly. So it's not to spend too much time. Just to show every colour has in the part means it's whole. And this one too. Because we need three whole circles first. Yes, every single one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So guys, now we have how many whole circles? One, two, three. But now we need another circle that shows three over four. So once again, now for circle number four. Circle number four will show the fraction. How many parts? Four. And this time, how many do we need in blue? Three. So you see, guys, this is what we mean by a mixed number. The first number is the amount of whole. One, two, three. And then the fraction, three over four. So we still have our four parts, but three of them are colored in blue. So let's say together, three and three over four, or three and three quarters too. Pak Bung, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Pak Bung, please, guys. <laughs> Time for our next student. But teachers, what you can do now is you can pause the video and you can play on with your own students in your own class. And what we're going to do here is can carry on for the next 10 minutes or so. So remember to choose a different student and a different flashcard every time. And now I would like to invite Pat to come forward and join me at the front of class. And Pat, you can choose a flashcard and show it to your friends. Okay, so two and three over five. So first of all, I will write two and three over five. And now Pat will demonstrate how to do this mixed number. So first of all, guys, how many holes do we have? Two. So we need two complete circles. One, two. And how many parts does each circle have? Five. So we need to divide our circle into five 
excellent path. And then the second one, the same. Okay, now we've got five, and we've got five. So because they're whole circles, that means every part will be colored in. So you can color in every segment of the circles blue. Every single one path. Because these are our holes, whole circles. Excellent, and the same with the second circle too. every single one. Brilliant, well done. And again, every single one. Okay, so now we have our two holes, but now we need our fraction. And what's our fraction, guys? Three over five. So let's have another circle with five parts. So again, put it into five parts. One, Two, three, four, five. And this time, with the fraction, how many parts do we need in blue? Three. And one more. Excellent, Pat. So now we can see our mixed number. Two and three over five. So can we say, guys, two and three over five? Pat, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pat, please, guys. <laughs> Let's do some more. And now for Down. Come and join me at the front, please. And Down can choose her flashcards and show it to her friends. Five, two over four. Okay, so the whole is five, and then two over four, or two quarters. So down, can you demonstrate how to do this mixed number? So first of all, we need five whole circles. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And how many parts does each circle need to be cut into? Four. So we need to cut every circle into four parts. Excellent. And because they are holes, how many parts of each circle need to be colored in blue? All of them. These are the holes, so every one. And Dan, because there's so many, I will help you. So you can start there. Let's color them in together. Every single part of our whole numbers needs to be colored in blue. Okay, so how many whole circles do we have, guys? One. Two, three, four, five. Now it's time for our fraction. We need another circle. So you can do your fraction here. Four parts again, but this time with the fraction, we need two parts in blue. Excellent, Sam. So you see, now our mixed number, five, Five, five with two, two over four. And this is how we do mixed numbers. Sam, that was brilliant. High five. Big round of applause for Sam, please, guys. <laughs> and let's do one more together. But first of all, I'll clean the board. And now I'd like to invite Bang Bon to join me at the front of class. And Pang Pong can choose his flashcards and show it to his friends. Okay, just you only need one, so show it to your friends. 
And what do we have? Four. Four and five over seven. Okay. So Bang Pong will demonstrate four holes and then the fraction five over seven. So take it away, Bang Pong. So first of all, how many whole numbers? We need four circles. Perfect. Now how many parts does each of our circles need to be put into? Seven. So each circle into seven parts. And then one more line to divide. Okay, so that's seven. And we need to do that for every one. Three, four, five, six. So one more line will give you seven. And again, and again. Perfect. And then the last one. Excellent. Now these are our holes. Four. So how many parts need to be coloured in? All of them. When we're talking about the holes, every part needs colouring in. So bang pong, let's colour them all in together. Ready? You can start there. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got our four holes. Next, we need the circle with our fraction. So, Pang Pong, one more circle here, please. How many parts? Seven. So, let's have seven parts again. Perfect. But this time, for the fraction, how many parts in blue? Five, yes. So only five parts this time. Excellent, Pang Pong. You see, so following our mixed number, four and five over seven, we have one, two, three, four whole circles, and then the fraction circle, five, over seven. So all together, guys, four and five over seven. Can you say bang one? Four. Four five seven. Five over. Five over seven. Seven. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pang Pong. And well done everybody guys. That was great. And now it's time for the worksheet part of our lesson. So what we've got, guys, is a worksheet today with a series of mixed numbers on. You need to read the mixed numbers with the total number and the proper fraction and draw the correct number of circles and the number of parts for the fraction too. And to make it look nicer, use different colours for each question. That way we can easily tell if the answers are correct or not. But what's the first thing to do? Names on top. And teachers, just monitor the class. Help your students with anything they need. And give them around 10 to 12 minutes to complete. So, Ned, this one's for you. Pat Wong, you're welcome. Pat, for you. You're welcome. Nadia, that's yours. Chu, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Zhang, this one's for you. Thank you. Lau, here's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Bang Bon, for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And Lakau, for you. So names on top, guys. Then have a read of your mixed numbers. Remember, the first number, the larger one, is always the whole. That one should always be coloured in completely. But look to your fraction to see how many parts to the whole each time. For example, the first one, 3 and 4 over 5 is like this. So how many holes do we need? Three. 
One, two, three. And how many parts to each hole? Five. And because they're holes, every part gets coloured in. So we have three that are coloured in completely. But then the fraction circle. We need another circle, and we know there's five parts to the whole. So we can divide the circle into five again. But this time, how many parts colored in blue? Four. four, because it's four over five. So one, two, three, four. That gives you your fraction or your mixed number, three and four over five. Your whole numbers will always be coloured in completely because that's what whole means. It means complete. Well done, Ned. So next, the fraction circle. Five parts and four in blue. Or any colour you want. I'm just using blue. You can use any colours you like. And you can use a different colour for each one. Blue, green, yellow, pink. Up to you. Perfect. So two and then three over seven. So what we need is seven, seven parts. And pull a three in. So three over seven would be like a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. And how many colors in? Three, because it's three over seven. One, two, three. Three over seven. We've got three colours of seven parts. Well done, Sue. Very good. Excellent. Well done, Pat. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet exercise where they had to read each of the mixed numbers or mixed fractions and then demonstrate their understanding by writing the correct number of whole circles and the final circle with the correct fraction. And my students here all did an excellent job. So well done, guys. And that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and now understand that mixed numbers are a combination of a whole number followed by a proper fraction, never an improper fraction. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye? Bye-bye. See you again next time.